Okay, today, today we're going to Taiwan. But first, as usual, let's go to flush and grab some food. Don't judge me, I I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything all day. And I'm not flying business class or first class, so the food on the plane's not gonna be that good. That's why I'm gonna make this meal count. And check this out, it's so pretty. It's kind of like a hot pot and noodle soup combined. And look at this, it's got some chili peppers, shrimp, handful noodles, spam of course, sesame on top, fatty beef, some tripe. You guys ready to see something really pretty? Oh, peanuts. Let's give this a mix. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it's clams in here too, like treasures on the bottom. What is this, the Titanic? Lotus roots, bok choy. It just keeps getting better and better. Tell me you don't want this. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you want this. Oh, this is incredible. Now you might be thinking, okay, this isn't that bad. It's just a big bowl of noodle soup. Why are we judging you? Well, I also got like, like, like 20 dumplings. Is that, is that too much? Is it? No. It's okay. Long flight. Our pork and chive dumplings. Take a little bath in hot oil and vinegar. Of course. Ooh, yeah. Think it's ready? I think it's ready. Hmm. That's a juicy dumpling. I like this dumpling. I just got a great idea. Take my dumpling, dip it in this. Let's see. The spot needs a little bit of something. It needs vinegar. Black Chinese vinegar. All right, I feel like now, now it's gonna be really good. That's awesome. 20 dumplings and big bowl of soup. Hmm. I don't think it's enough. You can't see it, but it's being plowed. It is. Yeah, this is the type of spam I like. All right, that's done. Hmm. I think I need some shaved ice. Best shaved ice in New York City. Look how fluff this is. You can ski down this, and it'd be pure powder. Hmm. Favorite. Shaved ice spot in the city. It's like, you can't compare. This place, they just do it the best. That was great, I see. I, I just need one more thing, one more thing. Oh, you can eat hot pot. Okay, I'm just kidding, not that, but I am still a little hungry, so let's see what's around here. Yeah, a chocolate crepe. This is what I needed before I bought a plane. It's like a crepe pizza. Crispy, chocolatey. It's just fine. Okay, that was nice. I, I think I'm good. Let's go to Taiwan. Wow, there's a lot of people going to Taiwan right now. Holy cow, that's, oh. Oh no. So this time I'm flying premium economy. Luckily, luckily, because it was a huge, Line here. All right, hope the food's good. Wingtip lounge. Only thing I have access to in JFK. Definitely doesn't have the best of foods. But hey, that's why I ate, you know, four times. Tonic water, sparkling water's a little less attractive cousin. I should explain a little about why I'm going to Taiwan this time. And the, the purpose, the main purpose is actually not to film videos. I'm, I mean, videos will be filmed, of course. I'm gonna do a bunch of food videos, I'm gonna vlog a lot, but the main purpose of this trip is actually to find a manufacturer for my hot oil. Anyway, I've been talking about this for a while now that I wanted to bottle my hot oil and it's finally happening. I'm meeting with um, four different, four or five different manufacturers in Taiwan. They all have my recipe, they're gonna cook up the hot oil and I'm gonna see how they taste. So this trip, I'm going to Taipei, meeting with a company there, then I'm going to Gaul Shown, uh, meeting with a company there, then I'm going to Tainan, and then a really remote village area of Taiwan. So this trip, 
This is a hot oil adventure. This is me. Hey, I remember this wallpaper. So I flew this class before in this airline. The phones are nice. Little flip flops. It's kind of space saving. This is a 15 hour flight and my seat really doesn't lean back much. And I got good news and bad news. The good news is I'm right by the bathroom, so I have easy access. The bad news is I'm right by the bathroom and kind of kind of smells a little bit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought this was bread, but it's not. I think I'm hungry. I like this case, nice and sturdy. And your typical stuff. I do really like this little dealie here. All right, this doesn't fit. Oh, I guess that's what this is for. Let's see what uh, kind of food they have going on this flight. Wow. This just tells me their menu is printed on recycled paper. This is not actually the menu. That was pretty disappointing. They do have a pretty awesome selection of movies. Wait, why am I in the movie? Oh, never mind, never mind. Although I've seen this a dozen times, let's watch it again. This is seafood rice. This kind of looks like the veggies from like a like a top ramen. Just sitting on some crab meat and rice. Little fruit plate. This actually looks the best out of everything on the tray. This chicken salad. I love little bottles. It's a decent chicken salad. Right, this stuff, this, this looks a little weird. The rice is a little mushy. Even though I know I'm eating the crab. It doesn't really have much of a crabby flavor. I can see that I'm eating it. It just, I can't really detect the texture when I'm chewing. Everything is just really soft in here. Except these really bright radioactive looking carrots. Yeah. Could be worse. This is definitely more of a eat to live type of meal. Oh uh, yes, I could definitely eat this. Oh, good morning. Oh, my neck. This thing doesn't recline. Zero panda. These are the two choices: chicken, mushroom, rice, seafood, penne pasta with tomato sauce. I'm actually really hungry right now. So hungry. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but the carrots seem really, really bright on this flight. Both times. Then you get some blueberry yogurt and some fruit. This chicken's a bit gooey. The blowy curry is kind of good, nice and crunchy. This is a really good plate of food. Vegetables are all seasoned well. They're nice and crunchy. This rice dish, much better than the last one. I feel like I eat more vegetables on flights than most of my other meals. Because most of the time, the vegetables in these dishes taste much better than the meats. But this, this is a quality dish. Out of all the premium economy meals I've had, I give this a solid 7.5 out of 10. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. I just landed in a very cloudy, thunderstormy Taipei. I think it's going to thunderstorm all week, uh, which is going to be interesting because I plan on going to a lot of street food tours. So I'll see how that can work out. Plane ride was okay, a little tough to sleep. Now, the problem with getting into Taipei at 6 in the morning is that I can't really check into a hotel. So I'm going to drop off my stuff at the hotel. And then I think it's going to be noodle soup time. It's mid-October and it's still steamy hot in Taiwan. It's not a good thing where you can feel the humidity inside the airport. Hotel number one. I stayed in this hotel before. This is the Dandy Hotel near Shiling. And Shiling is where the biggest night market is in Taipei. Nice hotel. Unfortunately, I don't get to check in yet, but there's something I've been craving for so much since the last time I left Taiwan. 
let's go get that right now. Jingfeng braised pork over rice. I did a video here last time and I've been thinking about it ever since. This is definitely one of the best meals I had in Taiwan last time I was here. Mine is that pork ring soup though. Gotta get the pork over rice. Let's get a big piece of pork belly egg. That's beautiful. All that. So pretty. Look at that pork belly. It's so big he has to cut it with some scissors. This is the soup I got. Happy Taiwan breakfast to me. The about the pork rice is that if you let it just sit there, all that fat is gonna dissipate and soak into that rice. And that rice is gonna transform into the food version of your soulmate. And you take this pork belly. Oh, that's already falling apart. Blood. This tender piece of bacon, melty bacon. You put it on top of that. Man, my mouth is watering so much. I think yours should be right now as well. This is pork soup. The soup's a little thick. Um, probably some cornstarch in here. I think it's pork meat um, covered in flour. What's that little bit of uh, woody in here? Mm. Uh, that is great soup. I have a big old piece of pork. Mm. Cooked in a little flour. The flavor is off the hook. Little bamboo shooting here. The soup is porky, it's seasoned so well. Not overly salty at all. The soup is fantastic. Look at this. The fat, like I was mentioning before, is already starting to dissipate. You see it sink into the rice. That rice on its own is already gonna be delicious. Add a little pork to that. That's how it went for me. It took me about an hour to get here from the hotel. I'm so glad I did. It's been great for a while. Oh, this is one of the best eggs you'll ever put in your mouth. Trust me, come to Taiwan, get one of these. It's gonna change the way you feel about eggs. It's gonna change your whole perspective. It may even change your life. In a good way. I need a spoon to come in here. So I need to get a big scoop of minced pork and rice. Oh, look at this. If I just choose to Taiwan, and all I had was this, I'd be okay with that. Just got decimated in like five minutes. All that for 150 Taiwan dollars, which is about five bucks. Awesome breakfast, five dollars. Had to get another bowl of rice. I just can't, you cannot just come here and have one bowl. For bowl, had to get another egg and another bowl of this soup. This, try this, this will definitely break into your top two or three best soup ever list. Also, I got this. This is the same pork um, with the little flour paste out on the outside, but the soup is a little different with uh, winter melon. No, it's hot. It's really hot. Wow, it's less salty um, than the uh, than the other soup. It's definitely more more of a clear, nice, meaty, but also winter melon -y flavor. It's nice though. It's like a it's like a soft caress, a gentle hug on a rainy day. Those ribs are nice and gentle. Mm. Oh, great soup. I still like this soup more, but it's a great soup. Okay, that's all done. Actually, I actually have to go film the first official food video, which I'm doing on noodle soup in about two hours. And I just ate all that. But you know what? I feel good. Bring on the noodle soup. Ooh, a buffet. Interesting. What I love about Taiwan is the fact that you can walk down any street, any alley, and just be tons of food stalls, like everywhere. This is definitely a country where food, food is just a, such an integrated part of its culture, and I 100% dig that. I'm at location number two for uh, the beef noodle soup video. In this place, Ling Dong Fang, um, Beef noodle soup place. It's only got like like eight seats. It's a really tiny place, and the line is it's pretty deep. 
Um, it's a good day to eat noodle soup. It's rainy. Wish it was more cold. Home sweet home. This hotel is, is really clean. It's kind of modern. Um, it's just really simple. Bed, just counter with some Doritos. That's always nice. And usually, yep, there's a couple of sodas in there. And a really alien looking couch. Ooh, crackers. The thing with Taiwanese hotels is that you don't actually get to control the temperature of the room individually. They control it through the whole entire hotel. Keep it around 22, which I think is what, like low 70s, high 60s. There was even a time when I first came to Taiwan that it got so cold, they actually had to give me a heater for my room because it was just like freezing. Bathroom, yay. Ah, really nice, legally arranged toiletries. Of course, a modern electric toilet and a clean shower. I'm only gonna be here one night and tomorrow I'm going to the W Hotel, but now I need to take a shower. I'm like, I smell like an airplane. Then I'm gonna go eat that $300 bowl of noodle soup. Beef noodle soup video of the day. This is the fancy place. Beef daddy, it literally translates to beef daddy. Just finished filming the $300 beef noodle soup video. My goodness, was that good. I mean, can't make that a habit. I'm mean, dropping 300 bucks on a bowl of beef, beef noodle soup. That's, that's like once in a lifetime kind of thing. But if you love beef noodle soup, you should, I, I, I don't know, maybe get like 10